Yo, what's up guys? It's Mr. Jacob back here and I want to welcome you guys to some more Shadow of War. I may be, well, for, I might be reacting to more videos now and here and then. I kind of want to want you guys to know what I'm going to be playing in the future because I got you, I want to get stoked. I'm really stoked about this game. The more I see it, the more I want to play it. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen, like, have you been seeing the videos that have been coming out? If you haven't, then... I'm going to leave you a link to IGN, uh, subscribe to them. They give you first look into, well, into Shadow of War and they give you more and more gameplay what is happening. So today's video, I'm going to be showing you one of their videos and showing them um, one of our first looks into, I think it's called Mila. I forgot the name of the place, but it's uh, one of the iconic places in Lord of the Rings. Um, fun fact, guys, I have never watched any of the Lord of the Rings. So, I only play Shadow of Mordor, so that's the closest I'll ever get to knowing Lord of the Rings. So if I do say something that you guys might know and I might sound, well, I have no idea what I'm talking about, then that's your, my reason. But guys, like I said, I do hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, other, uh, other than that, let's get straight into the video and let's see what's going on. Hi, I'm Mike DePlata from Monolith Productions, and today we're extremely excited to give you a first look at the Gondorian city of Minas Ithil, which is under siege from the Dark Lord's forces. We need to do something. Taking out the captain should buy the Gondorians some time. And they could lead us to the Palantir. We must find a worm and make him talk. <laughs> Alright, so, so far what I'm getting so far is that Calibimbor has not been taken away from Talion. So, I thought from the trailer, I actually thought they kind of like separated, if you remember seeing from the trailer. But whatever, let's just continue and let's see what happens. We're going to show you some combat and some exploration in the open world. Here we're beginning near an orc encampment on the edge of the mountains near Kirithungal. And from here, we're going to go and get some intel on the Orc forces. Dominating an enemy worm takes us into the army screen. We can see that our target is an Orc commander. A captain leading the search is in the lower city. As we approach the city, we can see how we can use combat opportunities to defeat our enemies. The Orc Grog Barrels make great targets. We need to target their captains. Any pink skin I find is going in a slight path. He's close. The Wraith World will reveal his presence. Here we can use our Wraith vision to identify the Orc Commander and learn his strengths and weaknesses. Zathla. The new urban environment creates a lot of verticality and new gameplay opportunities for stealth and movement. We can see the commander is training enemy forces for the assault to come. All right, form up! Now in Shadow of War, the Nemesis system is much more seamlessly integrated with the story. So this commander will be unique for every player. And in Shadow of War, Talion is not just fighting on his own against the Orc hordes. We're going to meet a lot of new allies and fight alongside the Gondorian army. We will bury you all! Idril is a shield maiden of Gondor. We're sealing the gate. Move out. Move out. Let's follow her and help the Gondorians as they retreat to the upper city. You can get a really good idea of the epic scale of the city and the battle that's taking place here. It's not much further. This city is Gondor's last line of defense on the borders of Mordor. 
We've reached the gate, and Talion can hold off the Orc forces, giving the Gondorians a chance to retreat. So that was a quick run-through of one section of the open world in Minas Ifo. However, the city is absolutely enormous and it presents many more opportunities for gameplay, story, characters and exploration. Everything from Keller Brimbor's hidden barrows, to pitched battles in the arena, to taking command of enemy siege beasts and decimating the enemy army. And of course the Nemesis system. Your city will burn. The scourge of man will be cleansed by fire. We're looking forward to showing you much more gameplay from Minas Ithil and the rest of Mordor. But thank you very much for watching this first reveal. Wow, I have so many things to say. Right off the bat, by looking at this, uh, I already love the new uh, Nemesis system they have going on. Back then it was, you know, just like a big giant roll of going down. But as you can see, you can see the castle fortress. You can see all the people below it. And I'm guessing the people on top are like the generals and, you know, like maybe like the very top one is the one in charge. It's quite amazing how they put so much work into it in so, such little time. But right off the bat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is really, really great. And right here, just right here, like this whole area, it's more modern than Shadow of Mordor. You can see more buildings. It's much better than the open plain grass field that we've grown to it. And don't get me wrong, it's not bad, but it's better of a change. And the rate ability, I feel like it's a lot bigger. I think it's meant to be if you put more upgrades. But dude, I love this part. I love how the customization, like the whole new person, how they look, the Oryx. And like instead of you know easy killing them easily now you can it's just dazed so no more killing I guess and right here uh, I'm guessing this is a new ability where you can do a wraith jump or something and right here don't get me this is where things got awesome as you can see uh, Talion just had like some kind of long sword or something like that I don't know what it was but it had to do with his wraith ability it seemed really really awesome I don't know what that was um, let, but still, like, I, hopefully, I think this is part of, like, an upgrade thing you have to do. I still feel like, I feel like they're still doing a great job within these games. I really do love how they're doing their work now. To me, it just seems awesome. And right here, we get our first cinematic view, and we get to see, finally, m more humans. Because in Mordor, we barely saw, like, just a couple, but this time we actually see more humans. Like, you can see, like, this is actually a civilization, which is actually really, really cool. And right here seems like an underground tomb, as I heard it was Kilobrimbor's tomb or something like that. I don't know what it is, but it seems really cool. And right here, it's some kind of like battleground. There's like some arena. We got like some kind of, you can, well, do dominate them and use those catapults and kill your enemies, which is really awesome. And like I was saying, we're back to the arena. This seems really cool. I feel like this is something you can do on your free time and just battle these if you want. It's actually really cool. But like tell you the truth, this is guys, this is very little, just a little piece of it. And if you guys want to see more of these kind of stuff, I'll be more than happy to keep um, showing these to you. Uh, if you guys want to keep watching, go check it, uh, go subscribe to IGN. Um, but if you want to see it from me, then come right here to my channel. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.